Your value is beyond comprehension. Hi Taurus. This is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I'm doing a reading for you. I hope you are doing well. <laughs> I'm using this tarot deck. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Modern tarot, maybe. Modern everyday tarot or something like that. But I don't remember. I got it at TJ Maxx, so <laughs> for six bucks. <laughs> So, don't judge me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it comes in a plastic box, so all of the cards were stuck together when I got it. <laughs> and I had to kind of slowly work them apart. <laughs> and try not to damage the cards. But, yeah, it's pretty funny. I learned my lesson. Don't buy a cheap deck of cards, right? <laughs> Speaking of cheap decks of cards, this one. <laughs> Be careful which ones you buy, guys. Some of them are very, very uh, sharp around the edges because the stock is very flimsy. But. I don't like cards that are too stiff, and I don't like cards that are too pliable. So, that's just, I don't know, personal preference for me. But now that none of these cards are sticking together because I'm not putting it back in the plastic, uh, a pretty nice deck of cards, right? I mean, I cannot sneeze at it. <laughs> and I like the artwork too, so. Kind of reminds me of Egypt for some reason. I don't know if there's a reason or not, but. Okay, I don't know how much I like that card. <laughs> For our first card, and then a second card. Oh man. Wow, okay. This is the first card, the tower. Hmm. This is, this looks like a fall from grace <clears throat> to me. I mean, it might not be your fall from grace, but it could be somebody's fall from grace, right? Maybe we're witnessing it. And, um, a fall from grace doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, it's not always deserved, okay? Sometimes it just happens. Just... One day you're fine and the next day you're not, right? Like, could be somebody that... Somebody that lacks inner stability. Because, well, honestly, for whatever reason. Because they've been, you know, thrown out of a house 
basically. That's what that looks like to me. It looks like somebody's getting thrown out of a house. Like, literally. Like, the house is on fire. Lightning struck it, and the house burned down. This is ominous, guys. I don't really like it very much, but this is what I'm channeling, so... Uh... Please protect yourselves. Please make sure that you know what you would do in the event of a fire, all right? What's the first thing that you are supposed to do? Keep calm, right? And it seems like that's the hardest thing to do sometimes. And uh, this person could be you, or this could be another person. Alright? It just really depends, but whatever it was... Whatever it was, it's just like... That's what it is. <laughs> You know, people could just lack an open enough mind to understand certain situations or certain people. And sometimes that's why they get, that's why they fall from grace. Because people are unwilling to understand where they're coming from. This is the next card. Behind it is the Fool. And it almost looks like this is sort of illustrating some sort of story to me. Guys, let me see if I can get all three cards in frame. Um, Queen of Pentacles. That's a mother. Okay. That's goddess energy. But it doesn't have to be gender relevant, but the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Then we have the Aries card represented here in the Fool, and then ma the Magician, Gemini, okay? Alright, but this is a mother card like this person is very motherly they're very nurturing and they always make sure make sure that everybody around them is doing well and taken care of all right and it looks like somebody is gonna be going out into the world uh, it could be a child. I don't know. I don't know what stage of life you're in. Or what the circumstance is. But it looks like somebody's going out into the world with their dog <laughs> by their side carrying a dandelion or whatever this is. As if they have no care in the world. <laughs> Hence the fool, right? So I don't know. I don't know who's gonna get... I'm scared now. I don't want anyone to get thrown out of the house. That doesn't sound like a fun thing, guys. But this card... <laughs> like, this... This is a scary... Because I have my moon in Taurus, so I understand emotionally where you guys are coming from. Um, you guys feel most happy and... Happy when you guys feel safe and secure, right? 
and that means at a physical level. That's when you guys really shine. That's where you guys really shine. All right. So I'm getting two different scenarios. This is either a single mother and there's the father. He's 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 taken off and he's uh gone to manifest his destiny, okay? Or I'm seeing a mother and her child going off and manifesting his destiny or her destiny, depending on, you know, the age of the child and the gender, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't really like either, to be honest. I don't like either narrative, all right? <laughs> Uh, especially during these times right now, I just want my family close to me. That's all I care about. Anyway, as always, Taurus, um, I wish you the very best, and this may or may not have been a message for you, but or your story, but I hope you were at least entertained. Thank you. Bye.